How's it going guys? Electron Man. Um, kind of got a cool one for you today. You know, I've been going through uh, these little radios that I picked up uh, at garage sales, etc. Uh, estate sales. And uh, I picked this up, oh, probably a month or so ago. Maybe even two months ago. It was in the spring when the sales were really going good. But I can't remember exactly which garage sale I picked it up. It doesn't really matter. But uh, I remember uh, it didn't have any batteries in it. And it just said CC Pocket. And I actually asked the lady, what is it? She said, I don't know. I think it's some type of pager or something. She had no idea what it was. And uh, for a dollar, I thought, well, heck, why not? I'll just go ahead and buy it. And uh, I figured, you know, if, if anything is, I figured it was like a voice recorder. I saw that red button. And I was kind of thinking voice recorder. So I thought, well, a dollar, if it works, that, you know, that's probably a good deal. So anyway, long story short, I purchased it. Well, I've gotten, you know, here in the last uh, week or so, I started going through all these little radios, and I pulled this one out. And I put some batteries in it, and uh, little did I know that uh, when I picked that radio up that day, that or, or I didn't know it was a radio at the time, that I picked up, basically, I, I would call it the Cadillac of pocket radios, I mean, our pocket transistor radios, as far as, like, an AM, FM, uh, actually, this has got weather alert on it, too, little uh, compact portable radios, I mean, basically, a, a transistor radio, I guess you'd say, or a portable radio. Um, they say it runs about 70 hours on two batteries. And uh, this thing is super, super unique. Um, I went out and it's actually, it's currently still, you can purchase it off of Amazon. It's about $70. Yeah, so my dollar was not a bad investment. And uh, when I first looked it up on Amazon, I thought $70 for a transistor radio? You gotta be kidding me. But I tell you what, the more I played with this, the more I realized, like I was saying earlier, this is like the Cadillac of, of little transistor radios, portable transistor radios. It has more features than I ever imagined, and uh, the sensitivity on it is amazing. And uh, there's, there, by the way, I went out and checked on YouTube too, and there's quite a few in-depth videos about it. So I'm not going to get real in-depth about you know explaining it all, other than the fact of I kind of just wanted to give you a little demonstration of it and uh, show you show you what I have found out so far about it that that I find so unique with it. I mean. Uh, couple normal things is it's got a built-in speaker and it's got a you know stereo which it does play stereo and mono and it has a switch on the side that will do it'll do speaker off or uh, it middle selection is mono and then top slide is stereo but uh, and also it does use on the uh, earphone jack it definitely makes that an active antenna so you definitely uh, when I was outside uh, with it it was picking up it picked up like 30 AM stations, but when I came inside, you know, I'm in a metal building, it really appreciated that. But I did plug in just a headphone extension jack just to see, and it made a huge difference on a, on reception on the inside. So it definitely uses the uh, wires in the headphone to extend the range. But anyway, if you want like the all around little cool radio that you could throw in your pocket, I mean, I mean, this is a pocket radio, no doubt about it. That's probably why they call it CC Pocket because I mean, it's about, I'd say, well, it's about the size of a pack of cigarettes. And, uh, it punches a lot of wallet for there. As you can see right now, it has a clock in it. Um, it also has an alarm clock you can set for waking up in the morning or whatever. Um, it has a sleep timer, so you can use it to lay to bed at night and tell it to turn off in 30 minutes, and it'll turn off in 30 minutes. Um, it's got a backlit display. Speaker quality's not bad. I'll go ahead and show you that here in a minute. But I think that kind of, the, I'm gonna try to show you just the things that I find that really set it apart from any other little pocket radio I've ever seen is uh, things like uh, it's got 25 memories. It's got one through five. These are quick memory channels, and uh, and then you can switch from that. There's five banks of those, so you can have up to 25 memory channels in AM, FM, and then of course it has a weather band as well as a weather alert. Kind of interesting on the weather alert when you. I guess this would be good, like if you go to bed at night and you're worried about there's being bad storms, because this when you turn on the weather alert, it disables the rest of the radio. Probably because it's pretty sensitive radio, and that's how they had to do the circuitry. But anyway, you, when you turn the weather alert on, you can turn on for four, eight hours, whatever, sixteen hours. And while it's running the weather alert, it won't use AM, FM won't work. It's strictly doing weather monitor. You know, basically, if there's a storm in your area, it'll kick it off and it'll make a siren, and then it'll play whatever weather's going on. Um, <clears throat> which is a cool little feature as well in it. So, so not only is it a you know AM, FM radio, it is also a, a weather alert system as well as it'll receive the weather channel um let me see what else i can think about telling you before i kind of plug it up here and power it up for you i think that pretty much covered i can't tell you this if you buy one of these if you don't buy a new go download the manual because there's so many little 
extra features that I had no idea until I went down on the man and started finding out all the stuff it would do, you know, like the sleep timer. You could turn a display off. In fact, there's one way you, you, when you're receiving AM, you can turn off the display because I guess the display can cause a little bit of harmonics inside the radio and it makes the, the inception even clearer. It's got a, anyway, let me just go ahead and kind of fire up here and start showing you some of the stuff it's got here. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in since I'm sitting inside the still building just to give a little bit of extra for antenna. But um, I mean, I promise you this, very sensitive radio, probably one of the best I've seen for this size of radio, uh, receiving stations just outside my door. Uh, obviously inside the middle of the building, that's a little limited, but hey. Okay, let's get started on just showing you the down and dirty of some of the cool stuff that I found out with this radio. Um, we'll probably concentrate mainly on the uh, AM, FM. I mean, a weather radio is a weather radio. You know what, you know, turn the weather alert on, turn it off. I can't make the weather alert fire off, so it's really just this in the weather station. Nothing special there, but uh, on the, especially on the AM side and uh, the FM, it's just really, really uh, good receiving radio for a little pocket radio. But anyway, let me go ahead and fire this guy up. We'll turn it on backlit deal. I've got it on FM right now. And uh, basically, Try not to over volume here. I realize this box is a lot more sensitive. I was kind of blowing out on a couple of other ones. Then could keep that volume down a little bit. But well, anyway, you can see that's a basically our news radio. Anyway, as you can see, no problem with receiving FM radio, even inside of this metal building. In fact, I mean, you can you can tell it affects the reception a little bit having that antenna plug. But anyway, so FM's rock solid, decent little sound. Really sounds good in a set of headphones. I mean, it, it receives stereo, but the headphones, and when you set it to headphones, it turns the external speaker off. So I can't show you how it sounds in the headphones, but it's a good stereo sound. And uh, it tells you whether the channel's there or not. See the little stereo light that lights up. Also, it's got a, uh, you see there, it's got a signal meter there. Um, it tells you what bank you're on. Um, the page is the bank of, of memories. There's one through five pages. So one has five, two has five, you know, basically on and on. Um, there's your battery level, which I've been playing with it for several hours and it stays full. But from what I read, it runs about 70 hours on two double A batteries, so is it double A or triple A? Double A. Right here. Yeah, double A. So I mean that, that's pretty impressive. But uh, anyway, back to back to the radio. What did I do here? Oh, did I get back to where I was? Get distracted here. So anyway, there's on on the FM side. So it's just a great little FM radio. We know it's a weather receiver. And then you go into the AM side, and this is where I think this radio really excels that I've never seen a little transistor radio. I've even seen some higher shortwave radios that do some of this stuff. It's got it's got narrow filters in it. It's got a it's got steps you can do nine kilohertz, ten kilohertz, or one kilohertz. So you know if you got a station that's a little bit off, you can do one kilohertz steps. I mean I haven't seen that on <laughs> about any radio I've seen, but anyway, let me go ahead and switch over to AM. Mind you, this is not going to be a good example because I am in a steel building and, you know, no matter how sensitive the radio is, it's still building with all this electronics around it, it's not going to be perfect, but, but you can tell. But let me show you some of these cool little features too, like if you hit a, I believe it's, yeah, that's one kilohertz. So now I can go, see, said new, see, I can go one kilohertz steps. In fact, there's another station there that I wasn't even hearing. See how there I found another station I would have never known on another radio if it just had 10 kilohertz steps. So just one prime example of, of the coolness of this. And then you have uh, filters, which let me go ahead and show you the filter. I think it's, uh, let's see, it's one and three. It's an airband filter. Really cleans it up. So there's your narrow filter. So you got 
narrow band filter, you got to where you can increment in one kilohertz steps. I mean, have you ever seen that the pocket radio does it and receives really amazing on it? Of course, you got 25 memories as well. See if that. See how that really helps there. Mind you, this is in the evening too, or late at night. Actually, it's about midnight, so I'm not going to get as many AMs. I went earlier today and I picked up like 30 AM stations. I couldn't believe it. I didn't even know there's that many out there using the one kilohertz increments and the and the narrow filter. It's amazing what I was able to bring in on it. I was trying to think of anything else. Of course, you've got your clock function. Also, anytime you don't want the display, you can just push those two turns the display off so you're not burning anybody on a display. That and apparently that can, you know, generating that that frequent or that uh, display can actually create a little harmonics in it so you can turn it off just to make sure you're getting the best out of your reception. I can't really tell any difference, but I just think it's another cool feature. Of course, you can scan with it. You can hold down a hold down like the up button. You should just go through scan mode here, which I don't know where. Like I said, late at night in the building, so I don't know how the good's gonna do on scan. But anyway, it'll scan channels like a normal one. Then you can stop adding the memory. I need to go ahead and fill the memory bank up. I just filled up five for right now, but anyway, you can stop the scan there. Uh, what else is there? Oh, you just got a lockout key over here. You can lock it out. But uh, I don't want to make this video too long. Like I said, there's other videos that are probably getting a lot more in depth than I am. I'm just kind of showing you my observations, and I can see why I, I, I would definitely rate this as probably one of the top three uh, little digital AM portal radios that are on the market right now. I'm, I think C Crane, I can't remember the name of it. The CC stands for something C Crane or C Chamber. I don't know. Uh, apparently, it's a, a high end communication company that takes pride in their. Uh, the proprietary stuff. Apparently there's proprietary uh, circuits inside of this and I can see that. I mean like I said it's got a lot of a lot of extra little features that I, I've never seen. Of course it has a backlight display as well. I'm still in the one increment so I can uh, change that back to if that's the filter uh, what was it? Yeah 10 current gun and then one yeah so I go back to 10 to the normal span on it. Anyway, uh, like I said, I don't want to get too uh, too long-winded about it other than, wow, what a killer deal for a dollar. Um, definitely something I'm going to keep around. I'm not going to get rid of this. Um, I had no idea picking it up out of a box at a flea market or not a flea market, but I, I believe it was an estate sale. It was either that or garage sale, but that, uh, that it was actually probably the coolest little AM pocket radio I've ever seen. So, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this little review of it. I know there's probably much better ones out there, fancier graphics, better editing, blah, blah, blah. But I just thought, hey, I had it here. I put a couple batteries in. thought it was really cool. thought it was kind of interesting. thought I'd give you a little uh, review of what I think of it. I give it a five star as far as Parker Rails price-wise. You know, you, you pay for that technology that's in there. But I, I think a 70-hour life on AA batteries and the reception is bar none the best I've ever seen. I think it's a good investment. So, anyway, have a great day out there. This is Electron Man. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that thumbs up. And uh, hit that bell so you know when the next cool video is coming out. Oh, and have a great day.